シンテルリアクス You won't be alone You'll have Fearless's head to keep you company Wow, okay I, I might be buying his crazy a little bit What's going on? It's your boy Sintel with the Intel, and we are getting ready to watch episode 10, the final one of Cowboy Bebop, the live action Netflix film. Man, it has been an interesting ride so far, and we are about to close it out. Hey, if you haven't seen 1 through 9, make sure you check out 1 through 9 first because it'll give you some really good context. You can check out some of the links down in the description. Before we get started, make sure you hit that subscription button and bell icon so that you can get up to date notifications when we are doing、uh, these reactions. We got some more lined up for you, so we're going to keep it moving. Now, before Before we also get started, this is also going to be a little bit different than if you were to watch the original content on Netflix, which I highly recommend because this will be in eight second chunks.、It'll, the image may be flipped and it may be a little translucent. That is so that we don't violate any copyright restrictions. All right, so let's go ahead and close this bad boy out. Episode 10. Let's go! That ticking clock. Oh, it's a fan of, final, of finales, man. Look at Julia. Shook. Because that man vicious showed up. Look at that, man. This man looked like he'd been in a crazy bar a fight. A toast. You don't look happy, Julia. <laughs> this is what you wanted, isn't it? Is this not what you want? Three of the elders and Mao came up with. That's right. I mean, you were going to kill her, though, so she does have a little bit of a reason to be a jerk. I do love you. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Yo, word. That was uncalled for. How many times did you fuck? Oh, he hit her with a glass of liquor. That's nuts. It was you. Uh oh. Look at Julie. She's about to be like on some or whatever. All of this time stays with a woman who slept with his best friend. That's some facts she's spitting.、Oh, of course, you knew. Are no man. Wow. Oh, you're about to get hit again. You can see it. This dude is not stable. You won't be alone. You'll have Fearless's head to keep you company. Wow, okay. I, I might be buying his crazy a little bit. Oh, is that her crib? Maybe. Supernova Symphony. Oh, they got the wrappings a little more right than they did the last time. I thought you had rules about getting involved. I do. But you'd be dead otherwise. <laughs> I'd pour my own drink. I couldn't let that happen. <coughs> Excuse me. They're in Deal. Arriving gate. Still cool. They were coming after me. He needs to be、Your、pointing any weapons right is, now. Bartender is is holding、okay. two pieces. Hey, easy. <laughs> They're with me. Where were, where's the holsters? <laughs> Faye. Hey, listen. Hi. Oh. Aw. Hurt, hurting me. Hey, whatever happened to that unkillable super assassin? Um. Yeah, I killed him. <laughs> oh, nice. Right. Jeff. Who the fuck are you? Whoa. He went from zero to 100 real quick. They called you fearless. Who are you? And why does a syndicate want to use my daughter to get to you, huh? He was my partner. Back when I killed people for the syndicate. Jet! Jet! What are you doing? I'm not mad at him, man. You got my daughter all hemmed up. You got my daughter in danger. Don't kid yourself. <laughs> This is happening. We get her back if we work together. Then you should be with them. <laughs> She decided that real quick. Oh. So if y'all kill them, who's gonna drive the car? Oh. What's an answer. <laughs> uh oh. That sounds like an action sequence is about to get started. Yep. Oh, nice. Ah. It's not good.
Go save your man, Julia. Oh, they worked them over. I'm so happy they were back to the church again. Did you know that? I used to come down here after you betrayed me. To he has his name on it and everything. <laughs> I learned. I'll kill her. God damn you piece of shit! Ooh. Ooh. Yeah. Dang. You. I will not make that mistake again. Oh, poor little thing. Faye! It's Faye. I bet it's Faye. It better be Faye. Hey. Yo! Is she shooting from her ship? That's a lot of gunfire. Yes! <laughs> nice way. Come on. Go. Oh, that's right. He did break his leg. Dang. Spike went to spike took him to the shoulder. Goodness. Let's go. Dang. He struck that off, didn't he? Are you stupid? Let him go. <laughs> it's like yo, let him go. I'm tired. I'm tired of your shit. <laughs> that's what that. That's exactly what that was. Oh, come let's on. Valentine. Yeah, man. Let's get the church standoff rolling. It looks like one of those uh, police batons. Oh, yeah. Can use it as such. Nice. It's your butt over there. Ooh. Ah, there's the scene. There's the shot. Come save your man, Julia. Hmm. All right, different, but you know, I'm working with it. Because I told him you chose me. <laughs> I mean, he's honest. And you believed him? Now we can make it right. She like sorry. Be free of all of this. <laughs> I've seen that look before. Why would I want to be free of it? To the temple and the room will be ours. Yo, Julia fell to the dark side. Me, who I am. <laughs> Leaving me with him to fend for myself. Oh, she full blown crazy. Whoa! Oh, there's the scene. Play the music, play the music, play the music, play the music. God, they played the music! <laughs> Julia? No, I didn't think it was gonna be Julia. That's nuts. Oh, I was so happy they brought that back. Mm hmm. Yo, that look of disappointment. <laughs> That's horrible. Poor Jet. Yeah, man, she gone, gone. Hmm. Uh, Still alive, buddy. Uh, you're dead. Dude, you're chained up. What are you talking I'm about? I'm the syndicate. As your wife, I'll be speaking on your behalf. Oh. <laughs> huh. Oh, brought that ravenous dog to heal. Whoa. That look on her face. <gasps> Click. Oh, she for real about it. Dang. <laughs> yeah, man. She gone, gone. Wow. What a way to close out the series. The band is all the way broken up. Might as well drown yourself in a bottle. You lost everything. He ain't even clean himself up. No, you've been stabbed and shot. You might want to get that checked too. <laughs> Damn. 
<laughs> Face first. Oh, uh, the nasty old alley. Yup. Uh. Spike Spiegel. What? No. <laughs> and. Spike Spiegel. Yo, you're gonna be Ed at the very last minute. You're Spike Cowboy. <laughs> and I am. <laughs> Yeah, they definitely hit the eccentric part now. <laughs> yeah, just pass out, my guy. Uh, you're gonna bring Ed in so late, though. Hello. I mean, I know you gotta set it up for, for season two, if there is a season two. See you, it's gonna be someday, somewhere, okay. All right, so that is the end of the season. Um, Overall, it was just kinda, kinda meh. Um, relied heavily on nostalgia, some of the little stories that made the very first season of the anime so legendary may not have come across so well in the live action. I, I think that if you're a fan of just Cowboy Bebop in general, is, this is a fun romp through, but if you've probably never had anything to do with the series, I'd imagine you might not have had as much fun. Um, there were some things that were really well uh, the last two episodes, uh, episode nine and episode 10. Uh, especially episode nine. Episode nine was great. Episode nine should have been the tone for the entire series. Uh, it was hard to really take a lot of things seriously, but episode nine definitely made you take things seriously. There were some change ups as well. Uh, Julia was like the super big change up, and she ends up taking control of the syndicate uh, in an interesting way. Because for a moment, I was like, "Well, how in the world are you going to take control of something if?" Um, you don't really have any experience with it. You know, you're just pretty much like a lounge singer. But she's going to keep Vicious alive uh, since he's an elder and then speak on his behalf. I thought that was that was pretty smart. Uh, one of the money shots is still the the falling from the church scene and then the music that plays. I don't, I don't know the name of that song, but I mean, that is a legendary moment in Cowboy Bebop history. And I thought they did a really good job. But instead of there being like grenades that were dropped and exploding and then he's falling through the glass. It's Julia that shoots him through the glass and he's sitting there looking at everything that has defined his reason for, for keeping going, which is Julia, has completely betrayed him. Uh, breaking the band up in a sense was, was really good because that's how it should have ended. You know, uh, the series, the anime ends a lot in a lot more darker kind of fashion because, you know, Spike dies. Um, Julia dies. Uh, Vicious dies. <laughs> it's a lot. Of, it's a lot of death, and the Bebop kind of like goes on its way, and Faye goes on her way as well, uh, and even like in the end of the anime as well, like you know, um, uh, Ed, who you see towards the end, kind of like does does her own thing as well. So, if there is a second season, and it may not get a second season, I'm not sure how popular this is. This has been with everybody else but if it does you know you got a little bit of leeway because you, you can still tell the, the the julia vicious story we got introduced into air we see iron back and um you know you can probably easily get Faye back when she um figures out who she is so all in all i thought this episode was pretty good and the series was just was just mediocre it wasn't bad it's just really mediocre uh let's see. all right let's break down some of these scenes real quick um yeah, this moment. Okay, so I wasn't really like a huge super fan of the guy playing playing Vicious. And I just realized that this is the same dude that plays Translucent in, um, um, what is it, The Boys, uh, another series. And he's, he absolutely like destroys Translucent. So now that I have that frame of reference from the from the acting perspective, I thought, I thought he did a, a pretty decent job. But he plays crazy really well. <laughs> especially with all the blood that's on it he grew into it, it took it a while for for me to like see him as vicious and even still bits and pieces of it didn't 100 percent hit the mark but it was still good enough and then watching him in this scene and then watching like julia like really like find freedom in herself that's the thing like i guess a part of her was like waiting for spike to free her um and then like as we get towards the end she essentially frees herself. And this is like one of the first times that we really get a chance to see that she's not really scared anymore. And she calls Vicious out. And it's like, oh, you ain't even a real man. I was over here sleeping with your best friend and you ain't do nothing. You still stayed. So sucker, what's that say about you? Yo, that look right there, he was like, I am going to absolutely murder her. <laughs> Yo, he sells it. That was good. Um, 
Let's see what's going on with this. Do these really quick. Uh, this scene with the bartender and the lady that owns the club. These are two characters that were just added. They didn't really bring a whole lot of, I don't know, extra story content. They were just kind of just peripheral. The story could have gone on just fine before they never even introduced. So it was just one of those things where it's like, let's just add two more additional characters. That's how it felt. Oh, and, and I wasn't mad at Jay. He's right. He's like, yo, I, yo, we're supposed to be a family, all these lies. And now these lies have got my daughter caught up. And it's either him or my daughter. So I'm picking him. <laughs> I wasn't mad at Jeff for that. Um, okay, so the scene where this scene was a little weird. It was a little, little wonky. It kind of worked how Julia got out of a situation by convincing one of Vicious's guards that, you know, he's going to end up killing you anyway. So, you know, you might as well do something. But her reason was like, do you really love him? That was kind of weird. But sure. Uh, th I thought they were going to like nerf it and be like the car is going to flip and then she's just going to walk away easy. But they, they didn't do it that way. You know, she was really, really jacked up. Um, let's see what's going on with this. Uh, this back and forth between Vicious and Spike was, was okay. Here, here, this part was, was really well done. Uh, cause I was waiting for, for a little bit more Faye Valentine. Um, and her ship is just as legendary as, as Spike's in a lot of ways. And we didn't get a chance to see a whole lot of it, except for when she met her, her fake mama. And then we get a chance to see the ship just laying down some great cover fire. Uh, the final scene, um, was good. We we've been waiting for that for the second the last church scene, the gun kata versus the sword. Uh, for what it's worth, it was good. It did, it wasn't like extraordinary, but it was it was entertaining enough. I like the background music that went along with it too. It was pretty good. It was good. Like nothing was as good. Here we go. Yeah, golly, that was just a beautiful frame. Nothing as good was the fight sequence in, in episode nine when they had that a bit of like a hat tip and an homage to to old boy as he's like going uh, through the rival gang that one was amazing that was best in show for the whole series but it's just cool that they you know they hit some of the tones that made cowboy bebop so legendary what it is it's a lot shorter than the than the original but it still hit the point and as he's falling and realizing it could have been an interesting too if this wasn't gonna be like a single season it would have been interesting like in that moment where he realizes that she's about to shoot him and then he like drops her grenade and everything blows up but that's wishful thinking. You got to keep it open for season two. <laughs> and then the last big reveal is uh, is Ed. <laughs> Yo, she pops up with the bubble eye lens. That works for the whole awkward thing. We didn't know where the dog was. So, hey, so thank you so much. Um, we're gonna have to, we're gonna continue to keep doing these uh these watch alongs. I hope you enjoyed this one. If you haven't seen one through nine, you know, check it out. Especially pay attention to nine. On a scale of one to ten, I'd give Cowboy Bebop uh five and a half, maybe. It's like right middle of the road. It's not the worst thing I've ever seen. It's not the best. Nostalgia kept it moving. That being said, y'all, I'm about to get out of here. Make sure you hit that subscription button and of course click the bell icon so that you can get up to date notifications when I drop something new. Yo, this is your boy Intel with the Intel, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out.